Hey guys, thanks for clicking through. Uh, once again, I'm Bigfoot, and today I'm gonna walk you through the process for creating a hybridized, a mashup character. It's Kirby and Bigfoot. So I'm not sure if we wanna call this Kirby Foot, uh, Big Kirby, or just Kirby Bigfoot. Which one do you like best? I think for the sake of what we're doing today, I'll just call him Kirby Bigfoot. Okay, so everybody loves Kirby, and I'm gonna show you how to hybridize uh, Kirby with a Bigfoot. It's a lot of fun, and um, we'll color it up and make it look awesome, okay? So, I'm gonna be drawing on my iPad uh, and the Sketches app, but this uh, video today is just as awesome on regular paper. So grab your tablet or grab a paper and a pencil and an eraser and a Sharpie and some colors and we'll get started here, okay? So this is uh, a simple Kirby that we all know and love and we're gonna use a similar pose to this where he's sitting down and we're going to uh, hybridize him, mash him up with a Bigfoot, okay? So, um, I have a few different layers here uh, that I'm going to utilize today. And uh, this layer here um, is gonna be uh, a sketch layer. So, I'm gonna write the word sketch here. So that's gonna be our first layer. We're gonna do our wireframe and our pencil work there. Um, we're gonna have another layer here um, and this is going to be, uh, let me just do this so that we can differenti differentiate, uh, turn that one off, turn this one on. This is going to be our color layer. And that one is going to be underneath our, uh, black line layer. So... Um, we'll do this. We'll just, for the sake of being simple, we'll just call it ink. Our ink layer, okay? We're going to have a very simple background. Um, so that uh, other layer is going to be uh, behind the color layer and the ink layer. Uh, and this one is going to be our background layer. Background. Uh, okay, abbreviated. I know how to spell. <laughs> okay, so um, very important to do this in the proper order, um, whether you're drawing uh, in pencil or whether you are on your uh, device. We're going to go ahead and grab our pencil and I'm going to do this in light blue. It doesn't matter what color you do it in if you have a regular drawing pencil. So let's do this. Let's put a dash line down the center and this will make it easier for us to um, to place our shapes and we'll crisscross that line. If you're drawing with a pencil, make sure you draw really super light, okay? Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is it's called a wireframe. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a circle for Kirby. Notice how most of the circle is in the top half of the paper. It comes down past the halfway point a little bit. And we're gonna do two ovals like that. And then we're gonna do just a line that comes down and a line that comes down. Okay, this is the simple wireframe for the pose, the character, the setting. So if you use your imagination a little bit, you can see Kirby sitting down on like a hill, right? Pretty simple, okay? So this is the wireframe uh, that we're gonna use, the sketch layer. I'm going to dial this down a little bit so it's super light. And then I'm gonna go to uh, my ink layer now you're still drawing with pencil here. Um, I will change, let's see. 
I will change this to black. Uh, let me go to inker. Uh, no, I'll use pencil. Uh, I'll do it in black so it's easier for you to see. I'll do it in super dark gray. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, we are in our uh, layer above the sketch layer. So just make sure you're above the wireframe here and you can kind of um, detail in our character. So Kirby has his oval shaped eyes, okay? He's got a very simple mouth, okay? And he has his cheeks, okay? So this is very standard Kirby. What we're gonna add is lots of fur and Bigfoot looking feet. So this is, you can see Kirby already. That's, I mean, Kirby is so easy to draw, right? Um, so we're going to be drawing, uh, on top of this recognizable Kirby. And what we're going to do is we're going to give him a little bit of a hairline. So that's going to come down sort of like this. And we're going to give him some eyebrows that are going to be fuzzy like this. Because... Hybridizing Bigfoot and Kirby would just be adding a lot of fuzz, okay? So we're gonna uh, create that there. This is like a new thing. Kirby doesn't typically have hair. But we're gonna go towards the side of the paper there. All of these lines point towards the edge as they zigzag. So one in the middle maybe, and then we'll go on the other side. Okay, so we've just given Kirby some fuzzy eyebrows and some fuzzy hair. For the purpose of adding hair, we're gonna give him sort of a bottom lip, and then we're gonna come down with kind of a, a goatee or some, some bottom lip fuzz there. And then his fur is gonna go up to the feet. So now we have a very fuzzy uh, Kirby, right? This is really fun and really easy to do. And, um, you can just quickly create uh, a hybrid version, okay? Now for the feet, we have sort of the instep here, so this comes in a little bit, and then it's really rounded on both sides. So it's in and it's really rounded like that. Maybe this is, yeah, a little bit, a little bit curved there, okay? So we have those, and then we're basically just going to be adding toes. Oops, sorry. Wrong tool. Okay, just going to be adding toes. So one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay, so now we have these big feet and a fuzzy Kirby. We probably want to add a little bit of fuzz down here. And for the sake of him sitting on a surface, we're just going to take this smooth line and turn it into a grassy little hill. Okay? So this is kind of the sketch layer or the, the drawing layer. Um, we're sketching really lightly. We are, um, we're not doing, you know, any dark lines yet until we can see them. So... We're going to add a little bit of detail to the feet to show that it's the bottom of a, a foot. And if you want to, you can erase anything that you have here inside the feet or the toes. So clear that out. And now we have our, our sketch. Okay. So this is the sketch. It looks really good. We can start to see everything that we need regarding this uh, Kirby Bigfoot, okay? Now, uh, that was in the ink layer. I should have made uh, a pencil layer or a drawing layer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to, uh, to say, uh, drawing. So that's all the details and everything as we did. And because it's so easy to do that, I will add a ink layer to that. So I'm going to turn off the wireframe. I'm going to dial down the 
the sketch. And now in the ink layer here, uh, I'll write, come on, ink. Wow, it really doesn't like that. Ink. Don't let me erase though. Strange. Okay. So this is our ink layer now. So what we do in the ink layer is now we are focusing on um, committing to the line and keeping what we like. Okay. So what. We okay. So once you have your drawing of Kirby Bigfoot finished and you're happy with how it looks it's coming along. I want you to go ahead and grab a Sharpie or a black marker, and I want you to ink over it. I want you to trace over your lines with Sharpie, okay? So take a few minutes to do that. Color in his pupils, make his mouth more of a shape rather than just a line. Uh, take a few moments to do that, and then we'll come in and we'll talk about color, okay? So go ahead and work on that and we'll come back to color. In the color two mode, we're gonna use our um, pattern and fill tool here. And we're gonna make kind of a Kirby pink, right? So in this color two mode, we'll come through and we will just come around and fill in his face, right? So very Kirby-licious. We'll have to erase out our highlights in the eyes and for right now, that's going to be pretty good. So maybe we come in here with this marker and touch up just a little bit. So use your colored pencils, use your crayons, use your Copics, use your tablet, however you're drawing with me now. Let's go ahead and give Kirby his nice pink color. And then make sure your eyes look right with the shine marks in them. If you go through and do on this app a second level of that same pink, it'll darken that. So we're pretty good there. So that's what I wanted to do because that's kind of quick. Um, for his face, and then we can sort of layer things on top of his pink color because he's got sort of two layers, the regular Kirby that we all know and love layer, and then we've got the Bigfoot version, right? So this is kind of how we want that to look, and then we'll go to our second color layer. Um, we'll um, turn this one on. We'll leave that there for now. Go back to our pattern and we'll choose a very light brown for uh, Kirby's base color. So um, in my color one layer and I'm just gonna put a nice base color down. This will be the light base color for the Bigfoot version of how he's colored in. So I'll just do this first, and he starts to Bigfoot eyes himself in, right? So we'll fill in here any place that's not shaded in nicely. We can touch it up. And this is going to be just our base layer for the Bigfoot fuzzies. Color nicely inside the lines. And then you've got a good. Now, this will also exist down here um, in the bottom portion. 
So I'm just gonna quickly color in here. Something like that, okay? Now, uh, for the beard, the chin beard, the goatee, whatever we wanna call that, um, I'm gonna leave his goatee white because it's just an extra color. Uh, but I am going to use a little bit of silver. I don't like to leave stuff just white. I like to do uh, at least, and you see, because we're doing this in another layer, we have all this flexibility here. So there I went and just dropped a little bit of silver in, okay? Now we're gonna do the second layer, same layer here, but color of the, um, the Bigfoot fuzzy part. So we're just gonna come in and layer some darker brown over our tan color. Something like that, okay? And we can touch, touch up, and color in the eyebrows. This layer is over the top of the pink layer, so it'll cover right over it. And we would probably also um, do this same technique here like we did on top. We would do that to this bottom portion also. So he's kind of seated on his bottom. So this might be all darker, shaded him darker. Something like that, okay? So that's a pretty good Bigfoot color color up there. And we're gonna use more of a peach for his feet. So I'm just gonna come in with more of a flesh tone, peach color, more of probably a stereotypical Bigfoot skin color for his feet. drop that in something like that and just touch this up a little bit so now we've got his feet he's looking pretty good um, I'm going to do a little bit of detailing a little bit of detailing on the feet because there would be there would likely be some shading there too okay so on the flesh color uh, maybe... I will darken this flesh color up a little bit. And when I go through, probably, oh, with this tool, I'll do this. Yep. Uh, would be something like this. Hmm. Let me lighten that up just a hair. So because this is layering right over the top, it's going to darken it. It's a little too red. Let me just try this. Let's see what this looks like. And it's still a little bit red. But I don't mind it too much. So I'm just going to come in and kind of give some shading to these toes. Uh, where they would be... where they would be shaded. Subtle. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. But things that are round would have kind of this shading in there to just make it look a little more, a little more 3D maybe. 
just a little more dynamic in one way or another. So our Kirby Bigfoot is looking fantastic here. I'm going to go in and add a little bit of touch up here to his body just so it's not so super noticeable. That's a pretty awesome looking Kirby Bigfoot, right? So feeling pretty happy with all this. Uh, he's looking great. Uh, of course, we could, you know, go in and um, do some additional shading if we liked what we were doing. Well, that's actually the, the shading that I wanted in the first place. It's just more subtle. So um, there's our Kirby, and now let's work on the background here, okay? So if we have our background layer, now we can't see that awkward line. As much we can't really see it right so what we can do now is um, just kind of come in and drop in a nice green color underneath him doesn't really matter what we do here because it's all just gonna fill in, okay? And then uh, it's always cool to also kind of do maybe a little bit of shading, a little shadow. Something like that, okay? So this is a really good way to just throw in a little bit of background. Um, doesn't have to be difficult. It can be really easy and just makes everything look so much more dynamic and so much more finished, right? Complete. Okay, so a little touch up may be required. If we wanted to, we could drop in another layer or much easier actually to do or just as easy to do with your uh, traditional is to just drop in some really light blue for the sky. And as you can see, we have some uh, parts that would have to be erased out to bring the white back in the pupils here and in the beard. And any little other blues that are showing through can be just taken out. So there we've got a really good little chibi Bigfoot. And he is uh, sitting on a little grassy knoll here and looking great. And a really fun hybrid mashup character for you to uh, try to finish up. And if you'd like to post in comments below your art or message him over to our social media, um, we would love to see your version of your chibi Bigfoot. And uh, thanks for stopping by and drawing with me today. It's been a lot of fun, and we hope you check out some more of our drawing videos. And thanks again in advance for subscribing and for five-starring us, thumbs-upping, and just for supporting us in any way that you support us, okay?